is in there. I should have drained that first. Look how long it's gonna take. So, 3 sixteenths is a little too loose. And these strip easy, so you want them tight. So I'm going with a five mil. Five millimeter. Nice and tight. I'm just gonna hit it in there with a little hammer. This one and the two back there are easy. The one on this side, on the back here, is one that's actually pretty difficult because for some reason, this is enclosed on this side. This section here is open. So the bolt always rusts and it's always feathered with rust. And uh, yeah, that one almost never comes out and you gotta cut the VGT portion to, um, cut the bolt hopefully this one comes out but uh, we'll see I'm gonna remove this one the other two in the back there and then save this one for last well we got some sad news this one ended up stripping got really tight in there tried knocking with the hammer stripped so I gotta cut that one of course this one stripped so I gotta cut that one and surprisingly that one came out but surprisingly that one is seized in there pretty good too and stripped um, which that's the first time I've had one of these short ones do that they usually <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna have to cut three of the four ones off and at this point you might ruin your core so either let the customer know or be prepared to cover the core cost um, but I'm gonna try to cut them out where I don't damage the uh, actuator housing but it's not guaranteed so all right <laughs> As you can see, this was a pretty tight spot. I had to cut it on an angle. I'm almost all the way through. This will be the last one that needs cutting. 
then I'll just have to use some primer, pull it up and off these uh, cut studs and then they'll, they'll pull right out of the turbo house pretty easily. Uh, yeah, they're just seized in the aluminum um, in the aluminum housing of the BGT actuator. So, yeah, we'll finish cutting that one and then use some pry bars to pull up on this actuator and pull it out straight, and then I'll be able to pull the studs off. Got them all off, but that thing is on there pretty good. So, we got to use our good old friend, Mr. Persuasion. Take it from under here and push pull it up. This thing is on there good. So what I've done is I've cut through the bolt down there on the housing. So now I'm just fighting this area instead of all this. And as well, I can't get back there with my die grinder, so I'm using this little low profile reciprocating saw. And I'm going to cut right there. And uh, then the pop her off. So I don't want to damage that housing or anything. I was putting quite a bit of force on it with my air hammer. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to cut two more relief cuts and then it should pop off. Okay, I think. I think we got it right there. All right, round two. Coming off. Starting to come. Okay, this one probably is officially the worst one I've done. Wow. Yeah, this core is wrecked. Well, that's pretty much it. Old VGT off. Just gonna spin those studs out there and tap those holes. Yeah, that guy was never coming out of there. Using these things, they work great for removing studs. All you do is put them on there and just turn and it grips the stud and pulls it out of there. Using an M6 by one tap to clean all these threads and I'll clean the gasket mating surfaces and calibrate and install the actuator. While we're here, let's move this sector shaft. Make sure the turbo is operating properly. You'll see that line right there. You want to make sure it moves all the way to that line. There's a line on the other side. And make sure it moves all the way to that line too. Kind of hard to see. But if it does, then the turbo is good. So put it in the install position, which is like that. And then we'll go ahead and hook up the laptop to calibrate and install our BGT actuator. This is the BGT calibration process. Open Cummins. The actuator is still disconnected. Turn the key on. Connect to the ECM. And then we're going to plug the actuator in without installing it. The key is still on. I got my alignment uh, studs installed. And we're just going to throw some grease on the sector shaft real quick. The grease and the alignment pins come with the new actuator. I'm going to go ahead and just grease the teeth of the sector shaft. Okay, just put that down somewhere. It's better with two hands here. Put it right there. Plug the harness in. Oh, I gotta use two hands. Okay, so 
the key was on before I plug this in. Now I plug the harness in and we're going to do the first process of the calibration with Cummins. Where it has to be removed for this removed and plugged in start the process pass now before we do this next test we have to install the actuator okay put it on the alignment studs I don't normally use them because you could line them up pretty good but you don't want to move that um, gear on the actuator itself during the install process otherwise you'll fail the calibration so this is I might end up removing these studs and just lining it up myself just because it's kind of tough with this harness yeah let me let me use two hands to line this thing up probably ended up removing the studs there kind of creating more of a headache than anything so the process just install it nice you know up and down so you don't even remove or don't move that gear and don't force it let it kind of fall in place so i'm gonna use my other hand here Like, see how it's like that? A little gap in there? That's not good. I'm just letting it kind of fall into place here. Kind of the best I can. Don't want to use any force on it. take a bit but you'll get it okay I had to use two hands there to evenly lower it equally on both sides but we're dropped down so I'm going to install just two bolts and do the final calibration process I'm only installing two because sometimes it won't take the first time and you got to remove it and start all over so I'm going to just install two bolts and then uh, do that second part of the calibration if it passes, then we're good to install everything else. BGT is installed. Now we're doing that calibrate actuator step, which is the second drop down. Now it's going to move that sector shaft and find its limits. That was just the ABS pump right now. Okay, and we're all good. Calibration successful. So new VGT is calibrated. Now we just install everything back together and clear the codes because with that calibrator or with that actuator disconnected we set some uh, codes active now these are just from sensors being unplugged I like to use a lot of anti-seize on these bolts when installing them especially right in here and right here where it's open still don't know why Cummins has this open right there because that's always the one that gives you trouble um, and then just uh, install everything back together that you had removed and that's how you replace the VGT actuator on this Cummins engine and calibrator all right take care bye